has finally arrived. <laughs> we can't quite believe it actually now. It feels a little bit surreal, doesn't it? So uh, it's three o'clock in the afternoon and uh, we're just about to go and take charge of our new boat, Laura Maisie. We weren't actually sure until about two hours ago that she was gonna be completely cleaned and ready today. So it's all a bit odd because we didn't know if we were spending another night on Constanza or on the new boat. The new boat is already launched, already in the water. Um, so there's not going to be a big whoosh into the water, <laughs> breaking champagne bottles over her because she's already afloat in there. Um, we've got just a task of moving all our stuff on board over the next few hours and open a bottle of champagne on yep, the deck, I think. I think Hopefully so. the evening will be like this and oh, we can uh, yeah. just sit and go. <sighs> So all we have to do now is come, go through this lock under the bridge and the boatyard is just on the other side. I can't believe that three years on, you know, and this is the last lock that we're going to be doing in this yeah, boat. end of an era. Just told the dogs it's the last lock that they're going to be locked inside the boat. From now on, they'll be inside the, um, the, the semi-tread stern deck. Um, with us as we're going through lock. So I think they're going to be chef. Jess is having a little roll about in celebration. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's do this. Come on. Come Well, that's it. Constanza's empty, cleaned out. Everything moved on to the new boat. Well, nearly everything. <laughs> Two and a half days it's taken us to transfer everything over and try and find the right places for things. And in the end, we've given up. We're just stuffed stuff in cupboards, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to uh, live with it as it is and work around it and find places and... Uh, There's still plenty of room. There's plenty of empty storage space over there, but it's just working out what you want where. And it's not like going into a house where it's obvious where things go. On a boat, it's not, is it? You've got to make every use of every little space. And I think that might take us a few weeks. But the dogs have just jumped back on. Yeah. <laughs> We're on our last point of just vacuuming out. And they've jumped on the boat and they're so confused. They've been really up in the air for the last uh, couple of days. They don't know, they don't know where they are. They don't no. know where home is. <laughs> yeah, it's a real shame for them, but they'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. But look at Constanza, everybody. Oh. Yes. It is sad. We keep uh, getting little pangs and memories of all the good times that we've had on here. Um, yeah, it's been three years yeah. <laughs> of some not easy cruising sometimes, but it's been three years of fun. We've really enjoyed our time aboard Constanza. She's uh, going to have a bit of work done to her, um, get her certificate for the next four years past, and uh, then she'll go up for sale. I don't know, mid-May sometime perhaps. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. As soon as they've done this, they're going to give us some advice on what needs to be done. Um, and that's it, yeah. And uh, well, I'm sure we'll pass her because we're going one way and then coming back the other way. And I think we probably will pass her once she's uh, on canal side, ready to go again. So, Right, come on. we got stuff to do. Yes. Let's get yeah. on board. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And we'll see you on the next boat. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much.
Here yeah, we're off. Thanks very much to the Elton Moss crew for building us such a gorgeous boat. And I've even let Fran do the steering. This is scary already. <laughs> and here's the old boat. So thanks to Archie, Ruth, Jim and the rest of the team. It's been marvellous. Thanks. See you in a bit. Thank See you later. later. How's it handling, Fran? It's fast. I've got to um, be strict about pootling speed, I think. And there's lovely Constanza, done us a good old job for the last three years. Here we are at our first lock. I've passed over the helm to Rich. I'm gonna let him put the first scratches on. Welcome aboard, Laura Maisie. At last, we're on the new boat. Um, it's been a real whirlwind of a, a few weeks trying to get to where we are now, but boy, was it worth it. That's, this last week has been mad. Thanks to everybody who sent me birthday wishes. Hundreds I'm, and hundreds. I mean, it's <laughs> gone over a thousand, hasn't it, on all social media platforms, Instagram and Facebook, and it's gone mad. So thank you all so much. It's really appreciated. And if I haven't got around to responding, you'll know why. <laughs> we just haven't had the time, have we? We haven't no. had time to do anything. It's just been non-stop all the yeah. time. So we are trying. <laughs> really chilly evenings and mornings uh, at the moment. Um, we've just, as you would expect, parked in the middle of nowhere for a bit of peace and quiet and just to chill competing with Farmer Giles in the background and his tractor at the moment. <laughs> 
So we had um, came back from Rich's birthday weekend celebrations on um, Monday and didn't even know if the boat was going to be ready. There was a little bit of doubt whether the last bit of cleaning and tidying up was going to be done. We didn't know where we were sleeping that night, did we? No. And we got a phone call at about one o'clock to say, yeah, all systems go. So we took Constanza down to the boatyard, moored alongside, and then it's been three days and oh boy how much stuff did we have on that 50 foot boat it's ridiculous <laughs> it's just ridiculous so every orifice on this boat has been crammed with stuff and uh, we're gradually getting round to putting it all in its right place the problem with with living on a boat or moving onto a boat it's not like moving house when you move house there are certain places it's obvious where things go it's not like that on a boat and you have to use every little bit of space, which we did on Constanza, and those equivalent spaces are not here, they're different. So we've now got lots of storage with nothing in it, and other things that we don't know where to put them. And I think most of today we've spent moving things, haven't we, from we one have. place to another. Yeah, we have, tidying up. <laughs> but we're nearly there, aren't we? Nearly organised. We are. So uh, we're on board, we're really happy. Thanks to Elton Moss and all the team for building us a gorgeous boat. She looks stunning. Uh, we're really pleased, it's as you can tell. <laughs> taking us a little bit of time also to adjust to it, this it different did. life. Yeah, every morning we wake up and think, oh, it's different, <laughs> you know, but uh, it's gorgeous. Absolutely wonderful. And we're so pleased and we're now set for many years ahead. Yeah, cruising. definitely, definitely. So I think that's all we've got to say. Yes. Yeah. Um, join us next week or next time when we'll show you through Laura Mason. When we're fine, all the pictures are up and when she's looking really spick and span and things are in their right place, um, we'll give you a proper guided tour. But as you say, that might be a week or so. I think Jess and Archie have finally settled down there. They're quite happy on board, haven't they? They've found their little place under the dinette table. <laughs> it's been so hard for them because watching the old boat get emptied and then when we went back on to clean they came with us and there was nothing, nothing of ours on it. I think they, they really got confused. Jess's face, she looked like a real lost little she soul did. didn't she? Yeah she did. Um, so anyway they're back out running in the countryside and keep following us on Facebook and Instagram if you if you use those because we will keep putting up little p pictures and updates during yeah. the next week or so and we'll try and get round to all the messages. I did say that was it a couple of minutes ago. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm excited. <laughs> anyway, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. All the best. Bye.